bit of an update for the start of June. Uh, what can I say? First thing is I'm sunburnt. Uh, went to an air show yesterday. Um, just got up, just having my cup of coffee for the morning. Um, but had a few things happen in the last few days. Uh, first thing is that A, the mortgage is approved. B, we managed to locate a property that we're hoping to buy. Um, C, I booked my next flight back to Spain again. And D, I got a speeding ticket. Um, I have to admit, the whole speeding system in the UK is a bit of a joke. It's just a, it's a tax. Um, yeah, I can admit I'm speeding, but at the same time, those police you will never find dealing with a burglary or anything else. They're just parasitical. Um, they're simply just plaguing the roads. <laughs> um, so, yeah, because... You know, from my point of view, the amount of money that BMW costs and two police to sit in it, um, I can't justify the cost. Um, but, hey, uh, cost me 100 quid, it cost me 100 quid. That's just it. Um, yeah, I'll leave it at that. <laughs> um, but, yeah, things are progressing quite well in Spain. Um, we've also started developing things in the Philippines. All the windows are paid for now. Um, if you've been following what we've been doing on the construction um, basically all the windows are paid uh, there's one set still to go in um, I th think they're getting made at the moment but they're already paid for um, so the Philippines is developing but we're also um, as a bit of a thank you for my in-laws for the amount of stuff that um, they put up with with me being there everything from redeveloping the 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 land um, and my unsociable working hours etc. Um, we're going to redevelop their bedroom for them, um, which is basically taking quite a small bedroom, knocking the wall down, ripping out the old kitchen because it's actually a new kitchen as well because we've extended outside so there's a second second kitchen so the old kitchen doesn't need to be there. As such, we're going to rip it all out put a new partition wall uh, down a hallway well make a hallway in, in the part of the area that used to be the kitchen and the kitchen and bed small bedroom will become one large bedroom um, it's something we've had on the cards for a while but as things in Spain are progressing uh, the UK stuff is ticking over I thought you know what let's just do this um, it's it's a big thank you for my in-laws but at the same time it's something that would have been nice to have done sooner if we hadn't so much, had so many projects going on at the same time um, the other thing is I've got two of my apartments in the Philippines that I'm looking to rent long term um, they're, they're available for short term at the moment until they're full once they're full they'll just go long term uh, the 10,500 each, 10,500 pesos. Um, now what do you get for 10,5? It's, you get your, uh, water dispenser. Water only costs about 100 pesos a month anyway, uh, for the big, three of the big bottles. Um, but you're also looking at, they've got air conditioning, they've got TV. If you ask nicely, uh, my in-laws might let you use their cable TV, or you might be able to tap into it. <coughs> But even if you bought it, it's only 6000 a year anyway. Um, what else have they got? Oh, Wi-Fi internet is there when it's there. Um, the reason I say that is I cannot um, deal with Philippine ISP companies. They're notoriously bad. So if the internet's there, it's there. If it's not, don't whine about it. There's nothing I can do about it. We've changed suppliers so many times over the years. Um, we've just changed again um, back to an older system because it's more reliable than the cables so it's there if it's working it's working if it's not working you're quite welcome to call the ISPs up um, because because it's a monopoly it's difficult to uh, go elsewhere but also because of the corruption in the Philippines it's difficult for the ISPs what happens is when they run like they're doing cable at the moment when they're running the cable they get to the next town the next town will go i want a fridge i want a um 
air conditioning unit. So you get the mayor wanting something, you get the barangay captain wanting something. Everybody is there with their hand out, disrupting the whole system. You got to bear in mind for a whole country, that's a lot of people that you have to please that you shouldn't really because they're just corrupt parasites. Um, that's what's happening. So a lot of people will grumble about the ISP quality. It's because of corruption, right? The, the infrastructure is constantly wasted on paying people that deserve nothing. They're, they're not helping anybody but themselves. So put that to one side. Um, so you got TV, you got a, the bed and that's there, plates, cups, all that stuff's there. Um, laundry, there's a laundry woman. You just pay her to do your laundry once a week or whatever. I'm not getting involved in that. Um, that's between you and them. We don't take anything from it, but it, we can arrange that. We own the store next door as well. So there's access to beer, etc. Um, but we don't do tabs. We had some crazy American guy that disappeared one day. It already run up a tab, didn't pay his deposit for his rent, etc. And had some sort of mental breakdown. Um, <laughs> yeah, some crazy, crazy people out there. Um, it's why I say about these uh, people with bipolar conditions, you know, should they really be in the Philippines? Uh, a lot of people shouldn't because they are they make up the high level of the suicide population. Um, you can check those stats because they don't exist. Um, anyway, so as you can see, it's been a busy month so far and it's only the start. It's only seven days in uh, I'm flying back to Spain later on in this in a couple of weeks um, it's another month away from home unfortunately but at the same time um, things are progressing works progressing um, I'm starting to get work in the right direction uh, which which suits me I'll be honest with you I'm quite a fussy person when it comes to work and it's not done, not done properly I'm a pain People get tired of me complaining at them. Um, but people are starting to move in the same direction I want to be working now. Uh, they can see where I've been complaining uh, and things haven't been done. It's now bearing fruit because everything I've said would happen, has happened. So for me, that's, that's good. Um, so yeah, I'm in a pretty good place at the moment, except my head is burning. Um, I'm putting some photos up of the air show I was at yesterday, if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I just want to keep these updates going. Um, th there's, there's two reasons. First, well, I'll put two, not one. Uh, first one is it shows you can do this yourself. Um, because I know <laughs> this is an interesting thing I was reading in the four hour work week where somebody says about getting wealthy only take an interest in the people who have done it already do you know why I say that's nonsense um, the reason being is a lot of the people that are already wealthy will filter out the realities they are not going to tell you all the stuff they did um, they may have done in the past when they were doing it because they're a bit more open like myself because they're still on that path and looking for a bit of guidance, sharing a bit of information, looking for people to work with, etc. etc. Once they get to a certain level, they um, become self absorbent. Look at me, I'm so perfect, blah blah blah. That I mean that's networking anyway. You find a lot of people are self promoting by buy my book, buy my book. How I got rich, buy my book. I wonder how. Oh yeah, the book you, you're selling me to, on how to get rich. <laughs> um, so yeah, I prefer more people like me to do it. The reason being is we're real. We're not. Um, we're not trying to sell anything. Um, if we, somebody, yeah, Dave, Dave mentioned when's my ebooks coming out? I haven't actually written any. Um, I've got lots of unfinished ones uh, relating to different things, but it's having enough time and focus to finish one, then finish the next one, then finish the next one. But the ebooks have been primarily on the Philippines and Spain, not about wealth development or uh, moving life forward. 
but I might do it. Uh, it depends if there's that much interest in it or not. Um, because I like I like helping people. That's why I bother with these videos and things. Um, because sharing information is is how you move forward in life. Um, helping other people move forward in life, shall I say. Uh, so, yeah, as you can see, I'm not sat in a studio. I'm sat on the sofa. Uh, I'm just about to have my morning coffee. I haven't had a shave yet this morning either, because I'm a real person. I don't. I don't have makeup here. I'm not sat in the studio. I, uh, um, I do videos as and when I feel that there should be one. But yeah. So I hope everybody's. Uh, Enjoying my video so far. Alright, thanks for watching.